you know, sometimes things happen for a reason. And I recently purchased a Mac Mini M4, and I have a video about my purchase. Actually, it's kind of an unboxing, so if you're interested in that, check out the video description below and I'll have a link to it. But as I was using it, I noticed some limitations because there are not as many ports on here as there was on the previous Mac Mini, which I believe was an M2 that I owned. Well, leave it to Mini Soparu to save the day. They reached out and said, hey, Retrocombs, would you like to take a look at this brand new stand hub for the 2024 Mac Mini M4 or M4 Pro? And I said, absolutely, send that one over and I'll be happy to run it through a little Retrocombs tech review. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna unbox this. We're gonna take a look at it with the Mac Mini M4. And then I have a special surprise we're actually going to install because this is able to accept a two terabyte NVMe PC i.e. Gen 4 by 4 this is 2 gigs, and we're going to upgrade my paltry 512 gigabytes to an extra 2 terabytes. We're going to do all of that in this video. Hopefully you'll enjoy it, you'll learn a few things, and see, maybe, if this might be the thing that you need to make your Mac Mini even more useful. Okay, let's start every video like we always do with these new products. Let's go ahead and unbox the Mini Soparu Stand Hub for the 24 Mac Mini. You'll notice the little notch right there. A lot of you who have a Mac Mini already know what that's for. Thank you for choosing. Well, thank you, Mini Soparu, Sopuru, Mini Sopuru for choosing me. Power your storage, Fusion Stand. I'm not sure what Fusion Stand is. We'll figure that out. All right, looks like we have a little box here or just actually it's a flap. What do we have here? Oh, there we go. We have our USB-C to USB-C cable, which I'm sure is what we'll use to connect the hub to the Mac Mini M4. Looks like we have some instructions in here. Let's take a look at the instruction manual. We always like to see what's involved with our installation of these types of devices. This looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward. Now, the thing that won't be as straightforward though is I will probably have to review this to see how we get that SSD installed in here. And there's the steps. Use the provided, oh, there's a screwdriver in here. Let's go, let's check out, where's this little screwdriver? Evidently they even provide a little screwdriver for us. That's a nice touch, where is that? There it is folks, right there. Looks like we have a screwdriver and then it looks like we have some thermal paste. A couple screws there, see that? Well, let's set that aside. We'll come back and uh, take care of the install in just a little bit. Let's put that all together so we don't lose it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the hub itself. It's light. Oh, it's got the ring here to keep things from moving around. So we've got some feet on the bottom right here. That'll keep it from slipping. Yeah, that's pretty good. That actually, even on this, and this is a pretty slick surface. That's doing really well. And then our Mac Mini M4 will sit on here. So let's uh, take a look around here. Looks like I have a couple of recommendations. Hey, plug in your keyboard here and plug in your joystick here. Now I use Bluetooth uh, devices uh, for those external devices. So that's gonna be nice. I'll have those free. Looks like we do have SD and micro SD slots. That is a nice addition. Oh, here we go on the back. Oh, this will be nice. And I'll show you my setup a little bit later, but we do have a USB 2.0. We do have our 4K HDMI out. And then we do have our connection to the Mac Mini M4. So we're gonna take this and go from here to there. But one of the things I really like is having the headphone out of the back. Now, some people wonder why that is. Well, when you see my setup, I have a setup where there are speakers and in the adapter I have now, I'm having to plug out of the front. And so that'll put that cable in the back. Let's go ahead and take the Mac Mini out of the box and just set it on there and see what it's gonna look like before we install the SSD. So we have a Mac Mini. This is actually the lovely accountant's Mac Mini M4. I have yet to set it up. Mine is over here, all set up and being used. So this is a great way for me to use her new M4. She's upgrading from an M1. Here is that power button. And this is why this little notch right here is going to be such a nice addition. So if we place this on top, you can see it's designed so that it fits right in there and it doesn't move back and forth. But look, now we can access our power and we don't have to lift it off the table. That is a nice addition. I know some of these hubs have not included that and it's just a hub on the bottom. So that is a nice addition to this particular hub. Hey, that looks really good. What do you guys think? And then to connect, we're gonna take our cable here. We'll choose this port here and then this port and then that will be connected. Now, the other nice thing too, is you have two HDMI. So if you have dual monitor situation, you can use both of those at the same time. 
Okay, I'll get everything broken down and then we will install the SSD, the two terabyte SSD into the mini Sopuru, mini Sopuru, mini, mini Sopuru. We'll get that in there. Okay, be right back. Okay, I've taken all the little components out of the plastic bag. We are ready to install our device. Let's go ahead and first, before we get started, let's go ahead and take off the back. Now, again, as, I, as we saw earlier, there are instructions. And I took a look at that so I wouldn't mess this up. Now, once we get it in, I'll go ahead and probably just pull this little sticker off, but we're gonna leave it here as a reference for now. All right, let's take a look in here. You can see that it looks like it supports a couple of different size SSDs and you can use these adapters depending on what kind you have. I have the full length and I believe the number on that is the 2280. Let's see if that's what I have in the box here. Okay, and I was right, I do have the PNY 2280. This was a phenomenal deal. This was on Amazon. So for less than $100, I have two terabytes that I'm gonna be adding to my Mac Mini. That would cost significantly more if you were to equip your Mac Mini with two terabytes from Apple. Plus you don't get all the extra benefits of the hub. So that makes this kind of just a great bargain. The two of these together would decrease your cost to get some super sized storage on your Mac mini M4. Highly, if this works, that would be highly recommended. Okay, I'm gonna get this two terabyte SSD out of the box. Let's go ahead and get that done. There we go, PNY NVMe solid state drive. All right, and I'm sure you've seen tons of video online on YouTube where people have installed these. So I'll just go ahead and do that and you can just watch along. Okay, with the SSD inserted into the slot, we're gonna use these adapters and the provided screw and the provided screwdriver. Again, very nice addition to go ahead and tighten this down. Now you may have noticed in the bag, we had this little piece here. Now what it says is there is a silicon piece here and then this has some sticky on it. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna pull this blue off. We're not gonna put that on the SSD because if we ever wanted to replace the SSD, this would be in the wrong direction. So the silicon part goes down like that. And then what we're gonna do is put the top on and then what that's gonna do is adhere that sticky adhesive part for the heat sink to this aluminum part, and that will help release some heat. And since we've got this installed, let's go ahead and remove this little instructions here. Okay, this is aluminum, so it will draw heat away from that SSD for us. I have to clean off some of that adhesive. I'll get that. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's not gonna show, but probably could have done a better job with that. Before I take this over to my desk though, just a little reminder, don't forget if you're enjoying this video, make sure you go down below and hit subscribe. I recently had a commenter say, I don't understand why you're just not blowing up the YouTube algorithms. I agree, I think I should be blowing up the YouTube algorithms, but I need you to help me get there. So make sure you go down there and hit subscribe. Hey, and leave a comment while you're down there. Give me a thumbs up, all those things you need to do. Now let's get back to installing this on my Mac mini M4. Okay, here we are over at the desk. Here's our mini super, super, super mini, mini, yeah, that thing. And then here is the Mac mini that we're going to need to connect that device to. Now you'll notice I mentioned earlier, here's the unfortunate headphone jack that's coming out of the front. That runs up to a couple of reference speakers. I have one over here, one over here. So having that in the back is going to be nice. Now it is a little tight under here, as you can see, it's not gonna fit. I'm gonna have to move this over. I could move this, but this, this monitor is at the perfect height. That's kind of where I wanna keep it. So we will have to do a little adjustment. I'll move this over here. So I'm gonna spare you all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it and then I'll come right back. All right, as you can see, it is in place. And I didn't have to go as far over as I thought I was going to. And I did go ahead and decide to raise up the monitor a little bit. It's okay. Um, but it was just gonna require a lot of work to get all these wires. Now you will notice I have another hub off the back. I unfortunately have a USB device problem and needed more USB ports than even this hub provides, but this is a great solution. It's just another small USB-C to USB-A hub that I can put on the back here and drop off some things. So I just have these other devices available as I need them. And some of those devices are like a document camera, a microphone, some other things. Again, just kind of cleaning up the front so I can use these for USB drives, SD cards, obviously. And then I've got two USB-Cs up front too. So that's a lot of ports that we have added with this device. Now, let me show you the mess I have. 
in the back. So here's that hub I was talking about. And again, you can move up here and see the back. It's pretty clean. It's not bad. You don't see it from the front. So I'm pretty pleased with it. And there's that little notch so that we can get to the power. And I've already used that and turned on the computer. So let's go back and see if we can see that new two terabyte SSD. Okay, this is a good sign. The disk you attached was not readable. That means we are ready to initialize. So I'm going to go ahead and click our initialize. Here it is. Here's that PNY right here. Let's go and click that. And we need to format that. Let's do that as Mac OS Extended Journaled and Erase. Erase process is complete. Click Done to continue. And there we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can see it. Going way over here. This is an extra large monitor. There we go. Flipping back over here. Hope you like the Gorilla Cam footage. And there we go. We actually have two terabytes. Let's pull up the information on it. And you can see that right there. Volume, creation date, capacity two terabytes. We are good to go. So as you can see with the two combined, this is my regular hard drive that's installed. This was a 200 and it says 45, but as we know, that's a 256. And then over here, we've added two terabytes. So now what I can do is use this for my video editing storage and offload that from my main drive. All right, and there's my video and unboxing of the Mini Soparu Stand Hub for 2024 Mac Mini. If you like this video, hey, be sure and check out this video right here where I unbox my Mac Mini. And here's another video that you might be interested in from my channel. And if you want to purchase one of these yourself, link in the video description. That's it for me, Retrocombs out. See you in the next video.